Alright, welcome back to Finding My Elo. Gonna do the puzzles as we have been. Um, but, no, the, the puzzles. Puzzles? Yeah, puzzles, okay. Am I missing something? Huh. Okay. Um, okay, this one seems a little bit trickier. He can't move here. So, that's me. Yeah. My king is blocking these squares. My pawn is not blocking that square, my king is blocking those squares. So that's me. Alright. Oh, another? Wait. I thought it was three. I didn't log in! Oh. How many puzzles will it let me do if I'm not logged in? Four, five, this one, this one, I don't know. I mean, obviously I could take the pawn or the knight. If I take the pawn, queen's defending it, my queen's defending it, whatever. If I take the knight and he takes with the pawn, then my queen can take his queen, forcing his king to take it. Is that good? Oh no, I can't. The knight, the knight is defending my king. Okay. Then what's the right answer here? Ah, put him in check. Take the bishop. Okay. How many is that? Five? Weird. Okay, so apparently the trick to not having to pay to do puzzles is to just not log in. How many is it gonna let me do? Huh. This is amusing. Um. Hmm. What is the play here? What is the Hmm. Okay, right now, if I don't do anything, queen takes there, king moves there, bishop moves there, king is just all sorts of messed up. Oh no, bishop wouldn't move there because the knight's defending that. Okay. Perfect. Defending that. Okay. How do I ah, do it again? Got it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, that and then free bishop. Cool. If I put him in check, they get the queen for free. Like, I have to take, right? Ah, but then I can move the knight there and take it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't know how many that was. I, I didn't count. I'm sure future me will put a note of how many that was. So, yeah, uh, one moment while I log in. Okay, so it jumped me straight into uh, doing a puzzle. White to move. Isn't that just me? Yeah. Huh. I, I feel like the not logged in puzzles were harder than the logged in puzzles. Because, like, 
This. He can't take this. It's defended. He can't move here or here because of king. He can't move here because of pawn. Which means... That's just me. Hmm. So if I put him in check, I promote to the queen, and then I do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, three per day whenever you're logged in. That's crazy. It's crazy that you do more puzzles when you're not logged in. Anyway, let's, uh, let's play our game for the night, and then uh, I'm going to go to bed. Get a pawn in the middle, and if he lets me get a second pawn in the middle, get some knights in there, get some bishops in there. Um, wait, why does it say opponent? Oh, I'm not actually playing the... <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, I'm going to start with the queen pawn. I like the queen pawn. I know I've said it several times, but the, the queen pawn being defended automatically is, is pretty cool. And then defending it more. And then they... I don't know. Yeah, I, openings is definitely, like, the thing I'm worst at. Because, like, I mean, do I care? I mean, I guess I care. Do I care enough to block my dark-colored bishop? That's the real question. Well, then again, it wouldn't... Like, all all pushing this pawn would do is when he takes, I take this pawn or with the queen. But I can just not push this pawn. And then if he takes, I just take with this pawn. Which then opens up my light squared bishop to do things that way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to cast kingside anymore, but but am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Don't I just do that? Threaten his bishop. Right? Actually, I kind of feel like this is not a good position. Now that I think about it. Yeah, because you can just do something like that. I mean, I guess, I, I guess I'm up a pawn, right? No, I'm not. He gets his pawn back. See if he notices that I uncovered my queen. Nope. He did not. Do I take the pawn? And then he takes the bishop and I take the queen. And if he instead moves the rook, 
I put him in check. Yes, that's exactly what I do. So either I get a rook or I think I checkmate him. So if he moves the rook here, I put the queen here, his king can't escape and there's nothing to put in front of it. Oh no, he can move his rook here and... Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, sure. Free pawn. Yeah, I always feel like I'm missing something. Doesn't that just completely stop that? But dude, you you can't move that pawn. Just push the pawn. Oh, ooh. I did not notice that. That's not good. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't notice it. He didn't notice it. Okay, cool. <laughs> that, that could have been bad. Yeah, so at this point, I absolutely do not do what I was about to do. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah, no, I'll take the free pawn. Right? And then he's, his knight's threatened, and I can put him in check. He does that. Okay. Um, am I missing something again? I just take his knight, right? My knight's defending my bishop, so I can just castle. He can't go here to put me in check. He could go here to put me in check, but then my queen takes it. So, yeah. I think I'm good. Um, okay. So... Okay. I don't think that worked the way he thought it was going to. Yeah. Alright. Up to 789. <laughs> Two blunders. Okay, yeah, let's definitely look at this review. Uh, is it analysis? Is that the one where it actually like, tells me... No, it's game review. Game review. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I'm curious wait, and now it's saying I didn't make any blunders. I thought it said I thought it said I made two. Well, seventy six seventy six point one versus fifty eight point eight. That I felt like I was a lot more ahead of him than that. Okay. Um, is it here? Yeah. Okay. Book. 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 Yeah, they weren't. They weren't too fond of that. Why isn't it showing? Is it? Is it analysis? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's saying I should have brought my knight there. Oh yeah, because the bishop wasn't threatening. I... <laughs> yeah, okay, I should have done that beforehand. And let me guess, here it wants me to take the, the knight. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. And I did that instead. And he did that. <laughs> like, this is... Yeah, I should have definitely taken with the knight. Oh, jeez. I'm tired. I just finished recording Rogue Tech and rendering it and everything, and it's like almost 1am. But I said I was going to do it every night.
So here I'm doing it every night. Okay, I don't understand why they would prefer me to take the pawn there. Does that set me up for something I'm not seeing? Then again, wait, it says this is the best move. So is that just another best move? So like I couldn't go wrong either way? Yeah, this was this was totally a I know this wasn't a great move, but if he didn't see it it was, and he didn't see it. Wait, what? Obvi like it huh? Great move. Like I had to Ye of little faith. You say this is good, and then you say this is great when it's the obvious move. And that's only good. Like, it, I, I was potentially going to be able to checkmate. Oh! I could have brought my rook into play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I bring my rook in, then... Like, what does he do here? Because if he does this, I just take it. <laughs> that's, that's checkmate, I think. Uh, so, like, what does he do there? This? No, because if he does that, I just do this. Right? Or just, oh, oh, take, yeah. I <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be better. Okay, um, so it, it's saying to go here. Pawn is defending the knight. Rook is defending the knight. King is defending the rook. But, like, it doesn't stop me from doing this, right? Yeah, we're putting him in check that way. But, yeah, like, he takes, I take. He's in check again. He has to move. I trade queens. Like... Putting him in check is better? It's like, doesn't he just move away and then... I can't even take this space anymore because my queen's not defending it, and even if it was, it would be a trade... with, like, no advantage? So what's... what's the right follow- I, I know last night I said I wasn't gonna go super deep down the rabbit hole, but... I'm really curious here, like... Is that the move? Moving the rook there? What does moving the rook there accomplish? Because, like, he can't push the pawn because the rook... He can't block it with anything, so he has to move there or move there. And either way, I think I move there, put him in check again. He has to move again. And then I probably put him in check again and stuff, stuff, stuff. Um, but that's not what happened. So let's look at what did happen. I took that, he took that, I took that, he moved there. Oh wow, he could have put me in check, yeah. That would have actually been a really good move. I mean, I probably respond with what, like... Knight? There? Hmm. So yeah, that was silly of me taking with the bishop instead of getting my group involved. Yeah, they're like, okay, that pawn's not going anywhere anyway. Yeah, he definitely he definitely messed up not putting me in check. That that would have completely changed everything. Or at least most things. Man, it really wants me to trade queens. Whoa! Yeah! That... Like, yeah, he puts his rook there, but then what's he gonna do with his king, standing between two rooks? Because then at that point I could go here... Well, no, because his rook would be defending. I don't... I don't know. I'm definitely not nearly good enough to be sitting here like, Oh yes, yeah, so this is the proper play, and this is how you did... No, I just... I'm just doing this for fun. 
Yeah, that, that definitely would have been better, though. Because, um, like, worst case scenario, I take two pawns in exchange for my one pawn. And as I noticed that he didn't, or as I noticed and yet he didn't, he could have moved his queen, taken this pawn, and then if I move my knight, he just takes the rook, puts me in check, and I either move the knight back and lose it too, or move my king. <laughs> that would have been bad. But he pushed instead, because reasons. Also, he could have castled. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Oh, that's why they're saying this was such a good move. Because, yeah, I get two pawns for one, but he also can't castle anymore. So he's stuck in the middle of the board. See? And here, I thought about it. Like, whenever I moved the knight, I thought about putting him in check, forcing him to trade queens, and then being in position to do that. But I was like, uh, I don't want him to figure that out. So... Yeah, that would have actually, that queen trade would have prevented him from being able to do that. So, I got my order of operations wrong, basically. Um, yeah, he tries to threaten my queen. Free pawn. <laughs> Questionable. Because honestly, I could have just moved my queen here, been threatening his queen, and if he takes it, I trade and can still castle. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm always hesitant to, like, put my queen in front of the king for any reason, because, like, then he can do some shenaniganry, and then I end up losing my queen because it was stuck to my king. So I did that instead. Oh, wow, yeah, he could have, he literally could have just kept putting me in check until I died from it. Yeah, but he gave me the opportunity to do that. Then he did that. I castled, and he did that. And they only consider that a mistake. How How is it only a mistake to not only give up your queen for free, but also to be put in check so you can't even do anything with it? I don't understand. Because, yeah, like, that was a terrible idea. That that was bad. And, yeah. Like, I guess he could have done that. That would have been interesting. Because if I take, he takes. And if I take, he takes. Why is it saying to go there? Wait. What? Oh! <laughs> okay, that's why it's saying to go there, is because if you do what I just suggested, you lose your rook for nothing. And then, in order to take the fish, <laughs> you would lose your queen anyway. <laughs> oh man, it's so cool that you can do this analysis thing, because like, man, I need to watch out for that in the future, like... Oh, yeah, I'm going to get his queen. And then you just, like, lose your rook. Because bishop. <laughs> yeah, bishops are definitely, like, my weakest piece. I've never been good at using bishops. Ever. Wait, yeah. Like, queen, knight, I'm okay with. Rooks, I think I'm pretty good with rooks. Like, the, the queens, the problem for me is there's so many different decisions. Like, I never know... <sighs> Oops. Cannot move like that. But I never know, like... Because, yeah. So many choices. That's why I like the knight. Instead of all those possible squares, a knight is just, like... That one can go there, 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 or there. So it's got a nice little circle of influence. I like that. It just it's it's simpler. There's less there's less to worry about. You either can or you can't. I mean rooks likewise straight lines 
whatever. It's an easier decision. But like bishops, for some reason, the diagonals. Maybe that's part of the reason why I'm not super good with the queens either, is because like for some reason thinking diagonally. Like I can do 3D art in in Blender or Maya or 3ds Max or whatever. Like I can envision and articulate three dimensional structures, plants, and animals, and monsters, and whatever. But yet, playing chess, the diagonals confuse me. I feel like. Like, is that weird? I think that's weird. As you can tell, I'm very tired, so I'm going to go to bed. But that has been Finding My Elo for the night. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.